Good morning, Warriors, and welcome to Warrior News. My name is Devin Van Loo, and I am very pleased to be bringing you this week's announcements and news. Let's bring you to April with this week's staff announcements. I'm April Ray, and here are your announcements from staff to students for the week of August 30th. Last week, we introduced you to our new nurse, Mrs. Harris. We provided the wrong email. Here is the correct email address kharris2 at wawasee.k12.in.us. Please only email her if you have specific questions. If you need to see the nurse, click on the link to a Google form on your Chromebook under bookmarks. Students will wait until called down to the health clinic unless it's a medical emergency. Students are not to come to the clinic during passing periods. Masks are required in the health clinic at all time, and the students should provide their own mask. Students, remember, if you are driving now or are planning to drive at any point this school year, buy your parking tag before September 1st. Parking tags are $10 through tomorrow, August 31st. Please have the blue information sheet completed, as well as the extracurricular drug consent form to Mrs. Salerno in the attendance office by August 31st. Seniors, you and your parents have been receiving a lot of information about scholarships and from opportunities. A a spreadsheet with scholarship information has been created for your convenience. Please take a look at the opportunities. There are deadlines for some that are this fall. If you have any questions, email your counselor. The junior class fundraiser kicks off and will last from August 30 to September 13 you will, have, will be selling laundry detergent and trash bags. If you sell even one to your own family, your prom and graduation will be amazing next year. See Mrs. Bonner for details. She will have extra order forms outside her room on a table if you need more or lose yours. Green and gold cards are on sale now in the athletic office. Student cards are $50 and are good for the whole year. Talk to Mr. Doty or Mrs. Ritchie in the athletic office if you have any questions. Get your Wawasee High School gear and pack the stands with green and gold. The athletic department can set you up with an online link to purchase t-shirts, hoodies, and more with the Wawasee Warriors logo. If interested, go to the athletic office to get the link. Good news, there is no school on Monday, Labor Day. Enjoy a three-day weekend. Thank you, April. This week, I had the pleasure of sitting down with Mr. Snyder and finding out the importance of getting involved in activities within our school. Good morning, Mr. Snyder. Good morning, Devin. How are you doing? I'm doing good. How are good. you doing? Doing well. Well, welcome to one of our second, um, our second productions here of Warrior News, where okay. we get the announcements as we're doing. And today I'm basically just going to sit down with you and ask you some questions about Wawasi and okay. what are some importants about our school okay. here. Okay, great. So my first question for you is we've got a lot of activities going on at school here. Mm -hmm. We've got academics, extracurricular, sports, band, theater, all sorts of kinds of things. Mm -hmm. um, so what is something that students can do to get involved? Well, first of all, um, it's likely that they have a friend who's involved in something. So ask that friend about it go to a meeting um, it's never too late to join in anything and and you know my hope is that um, everybody in this building is involved in something beyond the normal school day because it, it's, it's such a valuable experience to participate in a sport or to be in band or choir or theater or robotics club or whatever I mean this, the academic teams um, it's so important to be involved in those kinds of activities because of the valuable lessons that come out of that. Right, yeah, so um, we do have a lot of activities here, like I said, but what's some important things 
that our students themselves, like how will that impact their lives getting involved? It's a great question. Age? And and you've experienced that probably through your, um, your, your experience just in band alone. You're involved in a lot of stuff, but just in band alone, um, growing and, and into leadership and all those kinds of things. I think, you know, looking back on my life too is, is the, some of the most valuable lessons that I learned, I learned outside of the classroom. Uh, involved with teams. Some of the closest friends I have today, and I'm an old guy, but some of the closest friends I have today were teammates of mine from high school. And so making those connections with people, making those connections with adults, with coaches um, who you have a little bit different relationship than when they're a teacher, um, making those, learning those lessons of servanthood and leadership that come from being a part of something that's bigger than you, those are really incredible, val incredibly valuable lessons to learn that will benefit you throughout your life as, as, a, as a leader of your family, as a leader in the community, or whatever it is. Um, I, I, I just think, it, it, you know, we talk about quality of life. Um, having those experiences to look back on and build upon, um, just they're invaluable. Right, and I hope that many kids can get involved in different things we have at mm -hmm. Wallace C here. Mm -hmm. um, but coming out of a COVID year, you know, some of those kids want to get right. back into getting, to being able to do some things. And luckily, our school has been willing to allow more things happen now that we've come back to school. Mm -hmm. um, so we've got a big year ahead of us. Student Council's got a lot of things planned. What's something that you're looking forward to coming out of this COVID year? Well, I'm looking forward to students coming out of isolation. Um, and, and I mean that it literally and figuratively. Um, that that we become uh, a more unified spirit here at Wawasee, that our, that our culture um, is inviting uh, to, to all kinds uh, of groups and people, that, that we are um, engaging our students. Um, and, and again, those, those things that are beyond the classroom. We want them to, to be successful in the classroom. We want to be successful out of the classroom. And really, uh, what that's all about, um, for example, um, cheer block, as an example that anybody can, can be a part of, that's an example of, of being there for others. Yes. Um, the, the sole purpose for cheer block is to, to, to lift up the spirits of the, the team that's playing and to be involved in that. The pep band, once basketball season and all that rolls around. The marching band at halftime and the performance there. This, this, that, that opportunity to, to lift others um, throughout the process. And that, that, that's just what makes a great school. Yeah, it does. Mm -hmm. All righty, well, thanks for joining us this morning, Mr. Snyder. I Thank hope you, you have a great rest of your day, and I'm looking forward to thanks. this school thanks year. Thanks for asking. Thanks. Thank you, Mr. Snyder. Let's hear from Susan with this week's cafeteria menus. It's Susan, and we are back at it again with breakfast and lunch menus. I'm sure we are all excited to know what we'll have for lunch and breakfast, because we are continuously growing individuals. So first, we'll take a look at this week's breakfast menu. Of course, all items are subject to change at any time during this week. If you see something you like on this week's menu, but it is different in the lunch line, I am truly sorry. So now we'll start with the breakfast menu. Tuesday is yogurt parfait. Wednesday, biscuits and gravy. Thursday will be mini cinnamon bagels. And then Friday, sausage and cheese English muffins. Now moving to the lunch menu. Monday is either a pork barbecue sandwich or a hot dog with a bun. On Tuesday, either a hot and spicy chicken sandwich or a regular chicken sandwich. Wednesday will be either chicken pot pie or Southwest cheesy bread. Thursday is either a chicken or cheese quesadilla. Finally, on Friday, either mac and cheese with garlic bread or stromboli with pizza sauce. Thank you, Susan. We have a big week ahead of us with Warrior Sports. Here's Wesley with this week's sports schedule. This is Wesley Waterball with your sports schedule for the week of August 30th. All athletic schedules are subject to change. For the most current information on scheduling, go to eventlink.com. Sign up and follow Wawasee High School. Tonight, the freshman and JV volleyball teams will host the Goshen Blue Blazers. The, gr the girls varsity golf team will take on Elkhart and Fairfield. The boys' varsity soccer team will host Mishawaka. 
On Tuesday, the boys' varsity tennis team will travel to Wicco. The freshman, JV, and varsity volleyball teams will host Manchester. The unified flag football team will travel to Carroll. The co-ed cross-country team will travel to Oxbow to compete in the NLC Round Robin Meet 1. They will take on Mishawaka, Northwood, Goshen, Concord, Warsaw, Plymouth, and Northridge. On Wednesday, the girls' varsity golf team will host Goshen. On Thursday, the boys' varsity tennis team will host Concord. The girls' varsity golf team will travel to Warsaw to take on the Tigers and Northridge. The JV and varsity volleyball teams will travel to Plymouth. The freshman football team will travel to DeKalb and the girls' soccer team will travel to Lakeland Christian Academy. Are you ready for, for some football? Because on Friday night, the varsity football team will travel to Northridge. If you can't make it to the game, listen live on 93.7 FM The Mix or online at 937themix.com. On Saturday, the boys' varsity tennis team will host the Super Duels. The JV football team will host Northridge. The boys' varsity soccer team will travel to Plymouth for the Blueberry Tournament. The unified flag football team will travel to Blackford. The girls' JV and varsity soccer teams will host Goshen. Let's get out there and support our Warriors. Thank you, Wesley. I encourage you all to get out and join the cheer block. Let's hear from Misha with this week's highlighted school policies on the segment of Real Talk. Hello everyone, my name is Misha Kala and I'll be talking to you all about our school policies. Today's topic, I'll be discussing about profanity and why we should not use it in our school. Profanity is unprofessional and shouldn't be used outside of a casual setting. Settings such as gov schools and government buildings should use dignified language and be able to express yourself without the use of profanity. While in school, it is supported to be aware of what you say and do. Self-control is something we should all know, especially since we all talked about it in our elementary schools. And a part of self-control is the respect of our peers and teachers. The use of profanity on clothes are not permitted in the school building. If you are caught wearing clothes as such, then you will probably be asked by teachers to either change or if you're wearing a jacket over your shirt, to zip it up. Now, profanity can and possibly always will hurt another person's feelings. And depending on the classroom, it can be frowned upon by the teacher. This is the same for the on the bus and could get you suspended from bus use. That's all for this week on Real Talk. I'm Misha Kala. I'll see you next week. Thank you, Misha. All school policies are located in the Wawasee High School Handbook on your Chromebook. For your last segment of today, let's see what the weather's going to look like this week. Take it away, Jet. Hi, I'm Jet Relvogel with this week's weather forecast. Today is going to be a high of 82 and a low of 63 with a slight chance of showers and thunderstorms. Tomorrow, a high of 78 and a low of 62 with a slight chance of showers. Wednesday, Thursday, and Friday, look for partly cloudy skies, expect highs in the upper 70s and lows in the mid 60s. Thank you, Jet. Before we close out today, I would like to thank Mr. Snyder, Mr. Van Loo, Mr. Huffman, and the radio and TV crew. Thank you for joining me today and enjoy the rest of your week, Warriors. From the TV studio, I'm Devin Van Loo, signing off.